Hey pilots, Drain Man here. Today I have a very special video. Today we are going to learn how to update the firmware on our Tyrannus. We are also going to learn how to update the bootloader. We are starting a new series and we've already learned how to download and install into our computer the OpenTX Companion. The next thing to do is to get the latest hottest firmware on our radio. There are tons of videos on 2.2 and 2.3 but now there is a 2.2.4, which who doesn't want the latest and the greatest? Today we're going to learn how to put that on. So I hope you guys are following along with the series. If you're not and you're just stumbling across this video, especially if you're a beginner and you want to learn all this stuff about your Tyrannus, go ahead and head back to video one. I will put it down in the video description. <music> Okay, pilots, for the guys that don't want to deal with the firmware portion, you don't want to have to update bootloaders and update firmware and stuff, that's okay, you don't have to, but you do need to watch a little bit of this video and see how we check the version that we have, because we're going to do that, we're going to check the version that we have, and you need to make sure that you have 2.2 or greater, although you don't want to miss out on 2.2.4 that's on you but you need to have 2.2 or greater or else some of the stuff that we're going to do in the later videos some of it you won't be able to do so i would go ahead and flash it but that's totally up to you all right so let's go ahead and connect our tyrannus to the computer now all right pod so first thing i want you guys to do is i want you guys to find out which firmware and which bootloader do you have on your tyrannus so after you power it up go ahead and long press the menu button and then hit page. Once you page over, you're gonna go to page five of nine. And in here, you will get to see which version you have. So as you can see, I have 2.2.1. So this thing is definitely out of date. I want you to go ahead and grab the two horizontal switches. You're gonna hold them together and then short press the power button. You will then see this menu and you're gonna to get to find out right here which bootloader you have. So this is even more outdated. Right here I have the 2.2.0. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna update the firmware and we're gonna go ahead and update the bootloader. Information will say write firmware, restore EEPROM, exit, or it's gonna say, or plug in a USB cable. That's what we are going to do. We are going to plug in a USB cable. If you have a Tyrannus X9D, it's gonna be in the back right here. Go ahead and take your cable and go ahead and stick it in the bottom in this port right here like so. Boom. That's all you got to do. Let's head over to the computer. Alright pilots, go ahead and open up your documents folder. We created an FPV folder and we also created an OpenTX folder. Inside of there you will find your companion. If you followed video one, then you should have that exactly how I did. Alright, so you should have already connected your Tyrannus. So now that you have your companion open, you can see here we have the latest 2.2.4 because we downloaded that together. Okay, I want you to go ahead and go back to your documents, go back to FPV, right click, create new folder, and we need to have one called SD contents is what we'll call it SD card contents SD contents whatever you want there it is next folder we're going to need to do will be inside of OpenTX we will right click new folder and we will call it updating firmware all right I I actually prefer to have everything capitalized and nice and neat all right so now you have that folder as well it's a subfolder inside of OpenTX because you're going to need to stay organized and it's going to be the firmware that we're going to download from the companion. All right, so now that you have that, let's go ahead and jump back into the companion. Go up here to the settings icon. If you hold your mouse over it, it'll say settings. Go ahead and click that. And then this will pop up. If you want to give it a profile name, feel free. I'm going to go ahead and call it the QX7 because that is the Tyrannus that I am updating. Your radio type, I can't stress how important this is because there's a lot of guys that kind of blow through it, watch the video, really aren't paying attention. If you don't select the correct radio, you're going to have nothing but problems. Mine is a QX7, so I'm going to go ahead and click the FR Sky X7. If you have an X7S, that's also okay. Our language is going to be English. Now, we do want to check... Lewis C, 
We want to click no heli. If you are running an R9 module, Flex R9M would be something good you would want to check as well. The splash screen is something we're going to get into in later videos. There are videos on it. I don't know that they're going to be as updated as this one because this is a brand new video we are recording. All right, pilots, so let's head back up here for one quick second. If you wanted to go with a special font of any sort, there is an SQT5 font. It's a little bit clearer, easier to read. You can check that box if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and click it so you can see what it looks like. Other than that, you're good in this area. Now, we're going to head down here. We've already talked about the splash screen. I'm mode 2. If you're any other mode, go ahead and change it. Whether you're 1 or 4, whatever you are, feel free to change that. Your default channel order. It is set to R-E-T-A. That is not correct. If you have it, it's not going to hurt anything. We can just change that later. But we are, I am, mode 2 is T-A-E-R. Go ahead and check the box to offer the right firmware to transmitter after download. Real quick, don't forget to check Lua if you plan on doing any Lua scripts or anything. I also check Lua C. That's to make sure that we'll have enough space on our SD card to fit everything that we want to fit. And then we're going to go ahead and press OK. Now that you have done that, you're going to want to head up to this little arrow on a line, which is the download symbol. Go ahead and click that. You're going to want to take a quick look, showing that everything looks the way that it looks. These are just basically the different parameters that you've selected. You know, we selected a QX7, we wanted no heli, Lua, Lua C, and we chose our font, and we wanted it in English. So now we're going to go ahead and click Download Firmware. This is important where you put this because we want to put it in a place that we're going to remember where to get it, right? So everybody's having a hard time with that. We're going to go ahead and make that simple, and you're going to head up to your documents. You're going to go to your FPV folder, and then inside of there, you're going to go to your OpenTX folder, and we have an updating firmware folder. That's what that's for. We also need to shrink the name of this just a little bit. So I want to go ahead and I'm going to erase this and we are going to name it 2.2.4 firmware and we are all set. Click save. So now it's downloading and it's saving it. All right, then it's going to pop up and ask you if you want to write the firmware. Yes, duh, that's what we're doing. So click yes. Go ahead and take a scan at everything. Make sure everything is right where it's supposed to be. And then right here is where you will choose a custom splash screen, which there are more steps to that. Don't worry. We are going to cover that in a later video, so don't worry about that. And make sure you check for hardware compatibility. Leave this checked. If it's not, go ahead and check it because it's very easy to write the wrong firmware. All right. Go ahead and click Write to TX. All right. So now it has written the firmware to the transmitter. So your new firmware is now on your transmitter. Now, we are going to go ahead and click Download SD Card Contents. That is going to bring you to this website here. Now, a lot of you guys are saying, I've already got my SD Card Contents taken care of. Well, the reason why we are going to edit the SD Card Contents and we are going to update them is because a lot of times your older SD Card Contents will not work with the newer firmware. Your, it'll tell you that you have an error. So make sure you pick the correct one. I'm going to go for the very latest one, which is the 12th of July, 2019. That's actually very new. So I'm going to click that and download the zip file. And it's downloading now. Okay, so now that it is downloaded, we're going to go ahead and click open. And this is something you're going to have to extract. I'm going to click extract. And earlier in the... This video, I had you create a folder called SD Card Contents. We are going to go to that now by opening Documents. We're going to go to FPV, and you're going to find a folder called SD Contents. That is why we created this folder. So press OK, then click OK. It's going to extract all of that. Now that it is extracted, you are welcome to delete it out of your zip and also the file so you're not taking up a bunch of space you don't need to. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to those files. So minimize this for now or close it out, delete it, whatever you've chosen. This here is the contents that are on my SD card already. So this is my contents that I have right now already on my QX7. 
If you don't have any, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. If you do have it, then you're going to want to do the update because you got to have the latest and the greatest for it all to work together. So what we're going to do now is we are going to head up to the documents. We're going to right click and click open in a new window. So that way we've got the two together. Keep track of which one is on your Tyrannus and which one you have downloaded. So open up FPV. We're going to go to SD card contents and here it is. These are the new ones. These are the old ones. If you have an Amber Pack, which would be inside of the Sounds folder, if you've already downloaded the Amber Pack, which I have a video on how to do that. So if you haven't done that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to link the video down in the video description on where and how to do that. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Click here, hold shift, click here, and move them all over. If you do have an Amber Pack, then go ahead and click here. Click here, hold the shift key, click here, then hold the control key and click the sounds folder, okay? That is going to deselect all of them so that way you do not move over the sounds. Then grab all 10 of these and bring them over here and drop them on here, okay? Now it's going to ask you if it wants to replace them. Yes, you want to replace these files. You don't want to skip them. You don't want to pick for each file. You want to replace them all. So go ahead and do that, and it's going to do that now. All right, so now all of it's over onto your USB drive, which is your SD card or your SD card content. So now that you're all set up on that, there's one last step before we are done with this. All right, so the very last thing you're going to do is head over to the EEPROM folder. Go ahead and open that up. It should look like this. You should have nothing in it but the README file. Then come back over here. This is what's actually on the computer. And we kept everything organized for a reason. So if you didn't follow that, hopefully you know where you put the file. But click on Documents, go to FPV, and then go into your OpenTX folder. And if you updating firmware you have your file there if you wanted to update your bootloader this is that portion of it and you're gonna right click and rename this file again you can just name it once a short time in the beginning if you want but I do that because I have quite a few files and I don't like it to get lost okay delete it and then go ahead and give it a name you want to keep it under eight characters if possible so I'm gonna type open or actually let's go ahead and just make it real simple tx 2.2.0 actually let's even get rid of the points there's no need for them tx 224 there you go so now that it's got a new name i want you to take it click it make sure you grab it and drop it over in this folder once you've done that you're good to go go ahead and unplug your tyrannus and we're done with the computer portion we're going to dive right into the tyrannus portion all right pilot so we're back in the tyrannus i want you to go ahead and power up your tyrannus Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. Okay. That is my Amber Pack. That is why she is talking. If you don't have that and you do want her to talk, I have a video on it. It's down in the video description. You'll notice that our font has changed. I don't, warning. I don't know if you remember what the font looked like before, but it does look different and this does look cooler, so I'm glad we did that. Okay, so the next thing I want you guys to do is hold down the menu key and then page over to page 5 and in there you will see that we now have the newest 2.2.4 firmware ready to go. So that's really awesome. That means that we successfully updated the firmware inside of the Tyrannus. If you go ahead and hold down the power key and turn her back off or if you have an X9D just flip it off. Once it is off, go ahead and start it in bootloader mode. Two trim centers, short press, you're going to see that it's the 2.2.0 firmware, at least mine is. Yours might be a different firmware, a different older firmware, or even any even older firmware. I, I don't know. But mine is still old because we have not updated the bootloader yet. I'm going to show you how to do that now. All right, so to do that, you need to get out of this. So go ahead and scroll down to exit. Welcome to OpenTX. It's going to start up. Now that you're in here, go ahead and hold down the menu key and page over to the SD card contents. I just pressed page one time. I want you to scroll down to the EEPROM folder. Click that. Inside you are going to see the file that we put on here. It is a bin file. We named it TX224. Alright, I want you to go ahead and scroll down to it. Long press and it's going to say flash bootloader. Go ahead and click enter. And it literally was that simple, right? Alright, so now I want you to go ahead and shut off the Tyrannus. And we are going to start it up in the bootloader so that way we know that we have completed this successfully. 
Hold your two trim centers, hit the power, and our boot loader is now 2.2.4. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. You guys now have the latest firmware, latest boot loader. You guys are really rocking and rolling. Can't wait to head to the next step. If you guys missed video one, make sure you go back and watch it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one.